What is up everybody? And I'm excited to bring to you today one of the, uh, the, I don't even know if the sleeper hits, but I would say that like a, a pretty non-hyped, hyped collaboration uh, from New Balance and I'm a Leon Dior, uh, I'm a Leon Dior. But this sneaker of the 993 is based on a very famous colorway of a Timberland boot uh, called the Beef and Broccolis. Uh, if you guys have live in urban areas or even out of urban areas, but, but predominantly in the urban areas uh, back in, in the early days of the 90s into the 2000s, uh, and they still sell this, this boot today, uh, the Beef and Broccolis are a definitive staple uh, of urban culture, urban winters and things like that. So there are roots about it uh, in New York City. Uh, ALD is is designed by a guy named Teddy Santis, who is from Queens, New York, and so that inspiration for uh, this 993 with New Balance uh, are based on those beef and broccolis. I have to admit, I did not even want a pair of these when I first saw them. I was looking at them and I was like, Ugh, I don't. The colorway is just wrong on a 993. It just feels that way. Um, but then uh, I have exclusive access to ALD and uh, after I got the email, yeah, I think you have about like 24 hours to, to, to you know, enter into the exclusive uh, access raffle. And I decided to do it last minute. And so I, I entered, I uh, hit on a pair. I don't know if you're guaranteed, but it feels like most people that, that, that were part of exclusive access got a pair. Um, but I'm so happy I did. And, and I hate uh, to say that it was growing on me. I, I did actually, uh, there's another sneaker YouTuber, uh, Sean Go, that I do watch pretty often, like he gets sneakers pretty early, and so uh, he's always pretty knowledgeable, so uh, I'll actually link his, his channel somewhere, I don't, don't even know how to do that, uh, but I actually had a little exchange with him about how uh, I didn't want them, and then all of a sudden I did, and now here's a review, and I like them a lot. So without further ado, here is the New Balance ALD 993 done in the beef and broccoli colorway. All right, so let's start with the rundown. The price for these was $200 retail, which I believe is a little more expensive than your typical uh, made in USA pair of 993s, which I believe run in the $180 range. Not exactly sure, but not a cheap sneaker, but also not crazy because the made in USA pairs are just typically really expensive. Sizing wise, I would go true to size. Uh, I am the same size pretty much across the board on almost every single New Balance, uh, except for the 997, which is a little bit tighter. Uh, and, and, I, and I I still actually go with the true to size. I kind of deal with it because the half size up is too big, but I'm normally a seven uh, in my New Balance sneakers and I went with the seven here. They fit exactly like my 990 V5s, 990 V1s. I don't have any of the other Vs. Uh, the V4 also fits exactly the same. Uh, the 237, the 327, uh, all those are size seven for me. So that that's the size I would go with. Uh, my typical Nike size is a seven and a half. So I went half size down from there. Uh, but I would say that for almost every single New Balance sneaker, you can go pretty much your true to size for New Balance. In terms of comfort, I would give these a seven out of 10 and they're really comfortable sneaker, but I would say that there are better sneakers out there from the New Balance line uh, that are not collaborations. Uh, the 993 is, it's pretty standard in terms of like how New Balance feels. Uh, I, I walked about three miles this morning uh, on the sneaker and it feels good underfoot, feels very, very stable and flexible and things like that. Uh, but there's like no, there's not that pizzazz, uh, you know, that, that you typically get from other sneakers. Uh, I do feel like my 990 V5s, which are beat to shit, uh, are more comfortable sneaker than the 993. Finally into style, I freaking hate that I am about to say this. I give these an eight out of 10. Uh, and I have a feeling I'm actually gonna wear these a lot more than I expected, mainly because my 990 V5s, I have to get a new pair before, you know, they go out of style. Um, but the brown and the green just kind of like really match fall. And if I go with neutral fits, uh, I have a feeling like this just is gonna fit really, really well with stuff like going to the office and, and things like that. So uh, I unfortunately, gonna, I'm gonna give these eight out of 10. Uh, if you were to ask me a week ago before I got these, I would have given these a five out of 10, but getting these in hand, they just look a lot better. They just hit different. The hints of the green 3M, all that type of stuff. And I just feel like there's a lot you can do with the fit. So style's great. All right, so let's get into the review of the actual sneaker. The suede is predominantly done in this brown suede. It is a very nice suede. So if you watch my finger, finger it, I guess, uh, you can see the suede change a bit of color. Uh, and the reason for that is, is typically better suedes will have 
um, almost like a two-tone color to it, depending on, on how you kind of like brush it. Uh, so that's good, and, and the suede feels really, really great. The underlay behind it is a mesh, which is the, also done in this brown. It's actually pretty shiny. I don't know if you can see it in this in this color, in this uh, in the light here, but as you're walking around with it, it actually does reflect light pretty well. And uh, the other parts of the sneaker have this kind of like 3M, maybe nubuck type of material that is done in this green color, uh, almost like a hunter green uh, for the broccoli portion of it. To the middle of the sneaker, you have the end patch that is done in the hunter green and black. So that's a contrasting black. Moving to the back, you have more of that 3M and underlays and overlays uh, of these suede brown patches. Moving into the back of the sneaker, you have your only hit of I May Leon door branding that is visible to the eye. And it's actually very, very invisible because the stitching itself is actually done in that oval uh, that says I May Leon door, but it is blacked out. So it's really, really actually hard to see. On the insole over there, you can see it done in a black. Uh, the sock liner is also black and I May Leon door is also etched in there in a yellow. The other parts of the black sneaker is you have this green TPU counter over here. I'm not sure exactly what, if it's not a real heel counter, it's probably just more for stability purposes, uh, but you can see it is translucent and you do see New Balance uh, done in black on the inside. Moving to the final top of the sneaker, you actually have more of that, that, that new buck type material that is also reflective green uh, and this kind of like this weird oval done in a black going to the front of the sneaker you have regular lace eyelets as well as flat black lacing that's standard that's comes in, comes on the shoe however i do want to get your opinion on this uh i did lace the other sneaker with this brown and green lace i'm i think i'm starting to feel that a little more than the black you know there is less contrast but it just feels like it just feels much more cohesive with the shoe. Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, is better, the black or the uh, black green. There's also a third pair that comes with it, which is these brown laces, um, which I just don't, uh, maybe they do look good, I don't know. I haven't laced them up yet, but I, I don't think I'm gonna use these. It's either the black or brown green for me. Then you have a tongue that is done in the 993 style, which I do like uh, with the with the uh, more of that green color. What I really do like, I didn't realize this because I don't actually own any other 993s. So you have 993 embossed in, the, in that trapezoidal shape over there, uh, also done in that black. Last thing I forgot to talk about is that there is a 993 that is barely visible that is etched into the uh, back panel of the sneaker on the side. Going over to the midsole of the sneaker, you actually have a midsole done in black, which is probably my least favorite part of the sneaker. I, it, it's, this part has grown on me uh, substantially. I thought I would hate the sneaker because of the black sole. It's good, it's not the best. I feel like if, if they would have done something different with the sole, this would easily be a nine out of 10. Uh, I would have gone with a brown sole myself if I were to design the sneaker and probably go with a black outsole. The only other thing about the uh, the sneaker that I did, you know, this is pretty rare, um, but it's really, really odd that there's a glue stain right there. Uh, on this sneaker, like like almost all my made in USA pairs are immaculate, and the fact that this isn't uh, is is a little, I don't say concerning, but it, but it is a little off putting to see some glue stains along the the sole. Flipping these to the bottom, you have another black outsole that matches the the midsole, and it is made out of this endurance rubber, which is a proprietary rubber to uh, to New Balance. All right, so what are my thoughts on this sneaker? Very simply. I like them a lot. I feel like they're super wearable. Uh, I don't have many brown things in my repertoire. I have like one brown boot and that's pretty much it. So in terms of a brown sneaker, uh, this is probably gonna gonna take the bill. Those things did grow on me. Uh, and I, unfortunately, I have to admit I was wrong and, and ALD to me hit, has another hit on their hands. All right, so if you guys haven't done so already, definitely hit that subscribe button for future content and things like this. It gives me the ability to release these sneakers a little bit faster and on time. The other thing is if you like this video, definitely give me the thumbs up. And if you want notifications, hit that bell icon. And if you want, and I would really appreciate this uh, just so I can connect with you guys better, uh, hit me up on Instagram at MySqueakers. But until next time, these are the New Balance 993 in collaboration with ALD in the Beef and Broccoli colorway. Peace. Hey.